here with Stacy Lewis. Uh, three birdies, one bogey in the car today. A pretty solid considering the conditions. Just kind yeah. of evaluate the day. Yeah, it was playing really hard this morning. Um, I don't think I've ever hit hybrid in a 10. Usually it's a nine iron. So um, so it was definitely playing different this morning and um, it was just really solid. I mean, I didn't hit a ton of greens if you look at stats, but I missed it on the right side of the holes where I could get up and down and um, putted it good and just managed it really good. That wind obviously got up. I mean, what changes? Obviously, want to flight the ball a little bit lower and, and try to get that more piercing trajectory. But like, what changes in your game when you have to play in those windy conditions? Um, I think you have to change your expectations more than anything. Um, just knowing, you just know it's it's playing hard and it's playing hard for everybody. So you just got to keep grinding out those five and six footers. And and like I said, you know, I think the was it like the seventh hole is a perfect example today. If you miss it left of the pin, it's a really hard two putt. And if you miss it right, it's a little simple chip up the hill. So um, just we played really smart, took advantage of the par fives, and um, was was really solid. Obviously played here quite a bit. Did any of that, like, past knowledge kind of, you know, like you said, mm -hmm. knowing where to miss it, especially yeah. if you weren't being able to hit your irons at the pins today? Yeah, definitely some knowledge and just I've learned that I need to – to expect some bad bounces along the way. You know, you're going to hit some good shots and you're going to get funky bounces, especially in the fairways. And But then you're going to hit bad shots and you're going to get away with them. So um, just trying to, to take what the course gives me and, and just go from there. How are the greens rolling today? I know they were they were right around 11. Yeah. I know they're probably not going to mow them much this week. The greens are amazing. They're, I mean, as pure as I've ever seen them. I mean, you get down, downwind, down green, they're really, really fast. And um, the golf course in general is – it really continues to get better every year condition wise and um you know you can see the little things they're trying to do putting a putting green for us closer to the first tee and um the new range and the new you know regrassing the whole range and leveling it so um it's just it's really cool to see the golf course old american kind of take take control of it and want want to make this a great stop for us told me last week that golf's been frustrating <laughs> right it's been. Of late, but even yeah. you had a pretty low number on that second day I know it wasn't mm -hmm. wasn't enough but what have you found that's kind of let, let you get back in the red um technically it's kind of the lower half was moving a lot um right hip was kind of flying open on the backswing and that was bleeding into pitch shots and chipping and um the putting had been trending better so I felt like if I could just get get the ball striking a little bit better that the putting would be there to support it. So I've been working hard on it. I, you know, I used that second round in Arkansas, just I had to try to get better. You know, I'm not one to just cash it in. And um, I knew I was going to take a crazy low number and probably wasn't going to shoot it, but I had to try. I had to try to build some momentum into this week. And finally, you know, day one, got, got yourself off to a pretty decent start out here, just one back of Celine at the moment. Like, what a, what, what will you carry forward as you look to the next three rounds? Uh, just the way I played today. I mean, I, it's probably one of the better rounds of golf I've played in a long time, and, um, and hopefully nobody goes crazy on us this afternoon. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you.